G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to write a little ping utility. So we'll start with a multi-device application and we want to add um, something that allows us to do pings. Now there's no ping indie ping client. Um, if we have a look at the indie clients there's, there's quite a lot of them but what we want is the ICMP client and let's just set the timeout to half a second and we'll start with google.com so we'll have a button and a memo to log our results so there's a ping method that we want to use and uh, it doesn't require any parameters and then dot have a look at the reply status and then we can look at the um, reply status type to work out um, if there's an error or something like that in fact we can go so RS echo is uh, the correct, you know, what we expect. And I think anything else is pretty much an error. Um, but this is a little simple utility, so we don't worry about any kind of error, error handling. And we can um, have a look at the round trip millisecond time. And we'll just log that to the memo. So one dot lines dot add Take that to string. And we should be able to run that. And click the button. And we get sort of 46, 47 milliseconds. Now we can get more accuracy than that. Um, it's only giving us, giving us the nearest millisecond. If we want sub millisecond accuracy, we can use the system diagnostics unit and we'll create a stopwatch. Um, start new and call stop afterwards and just dot elapsed not total milliseconds and two string so we're starting our new timer calling ping stopping the timer and then reporting that that value so we're now getting um, much more accurate values now what we could also do is ref the results so we can throw a, a t-chart on our form. Now I've got the full version of T-Chart installed, but the um, standard version will work fine for this as well. And if you don't have it installed, you can go to the Manage Platforms and then Additional Options and T-Chart Standard is listed there. So I'll just double click on the chart to change some of the properties. In particular, I don't need a title. We don't need a legend and we don't need 3D but we do need a series and we'll grab a fast line series let's have a little chat so we're not too concerned about the round trip time um, So we'll add an x, y value and we need an x value. So I'm just going to go up here and add a and 
seconds. We want our total milliseconds. That's all we need. And increment count. So if we run it now, and this is going to keep on counting up um, forever. So what we want to do is limit our chart to a smaller number of values. So we'll just remove, um, once we get to 10, we'll, we'll remove the first one. So there's one dot count greater than 10. We will delete the first value. And that the y-axis auto sizes, which is is, is um, pretty much fine. Um, we might want to add. Well, actually, let's, let's add a timer. And in the on timer, we'll just call button one click, and it is enabled by default. We we'll do it every half second. And so let's run that. And so we're pretty, uh, pretty around the um, 47 millisecond mark. Um, I don't think we need that memo anymore. We can probably even do away with the button. Let's just align from that. And let's make that every 50 milliseconds. And one dot two, two, three. It's a uh, device on my network. Oh, and oh, I'm logging that to the memo anymore. Ah, and let's go 100 data points. Might want to ignore the first couple of uh, data points. There we have a real-time graph of our um, network latency to a uh, local device on the network. So um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. That's a uh, simple use of a uh, T-chart graph and using the um, TIDICMP uh, client and calling ping. So I uh, hope you found that useful. Uh, do go to learndelphi.tv and check out my um, products. Yeah, I've got a book uh, about coding faster in Delphi. Uh, it'll improve your um, productivity in the Delphi IDE uh, considerably. Certainly it's improved my productivity having written it. And also there is um, my um, training videos. So Mega Pack is probably the, uh, the, the video series you want to grab. Anyway, I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching.